Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Star Crawlers. And we are going on to the next mission here for Aurora Starliners, because Eliana North has tasked us with investigating the waste disposal unit aboard the Stella Marin. So what happened was the crew just vanished on the Stella Marin. They just up and weren't there anymore. So we're going to figure out what happened to them. And we're going to help Eliana discover that. So we're jumping in here. We got our crew. They're level 10 now. And they are a couple of badasses. So let's see what we got ourselves into here. These are getting progressively harder. Your calm link crackles to life heavy with static interference. Hey, can you... Re reception bad Luna do you copy the comm link hisses with white noise and then clears yo had to jump channels you're pretty deep in that thing can't get a clear signal on wire relay I got Eliana on hold but no way you're going to be able to have an intelligible conversation through the noise you want me to relay anything mm, tell her we'll try and contact when we've found the waste disposal unit roger will do i'll stick as close to your position as i can just hollow whenever you need a lift out good luck out there luna disconnects so let's move out let's see if we can find this thing so we have run into poison gas before so we want to be careful about that we got some magazines and junk most of the junk what is this 35 damage Probably junk. Ooh, can we go down there? Not yet. Would we want to? Looks pretty nasty down there. <coughs> so I guess we'll just continue on here. Oh! Cred sticks. Nice. We'll try not to miss those. Let's see, what is this? Don't want that, but we'll take this. We'll look at it a little later. Nothing here. More cred sticks. Wow. Is that a door I can't go into? <laughs> we'll find out. Oh. Interesting. What is this? Pump control. Ah. Well, look at that. So we can only go down one level right now. So let's go through here. And what is this? The pump control. So now we should be able to go down even lower. If we so desire. Oh, uh, maybe not. More cred sticks, though. Oh, lots more. Jeez, they're everywhere. Who's throwing all these away? Here we go. We'll go through here. Anything? Anybody? Ooh. Well, that's not good. Somebody took this panel off? Can't do anything with it, though. That's unfortunate. So, pump control. Once again. Can't go in here, though, huh? Oh, look! More stuff. More junk, really. Uh, uh oh as you move to leave the door in the rear wall opens and a small drone of unfamiliar make waddles into the room it stares at you awkwardly ah uh, what the hell is that thing hold friends those look like armaments strange drone blop 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 the drone charges towards you in an ungainly fashion Attack! Alright, well... How, how tough is this damn thing? Oh, pretty tough! Not tough enough, though. So let's see, requires plus one charge. Oh, so as I build... As I do critical damage with Jess, he'll build up charges, and once he's built up enough charges, he can do 100% weapon damage for each charge. It should be pretty sick, actually. So let's see, he's also got the Magnetronic Bomb, which is awesome. We'll use this, though. And with her, we want to take down his shields. Oh, he doesn't have any. Huh. Oh, we have to generate 100 force. Interesting. I don't know how that works exactly. Oh, it missed. Oh, it sucks. 
We also have Cosmic Horror with Iolia. Apply Blind, Corrupt, or Vulnerable. Hmm. Interesting. So we can buddy shield, but I don't think we really need to. We just need to kill the damn thing. Mm -hmm. It's got too much health. And we'll try this big in. Try this again. And missed again. That's not good. We're missing kind of too much. And we can use this now. Two out of three charges. All right. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Mm, I guess we'll just shoot it. Yeah, because it's dead. Nice and easy fight. Warm us up here. The surface of the defeated drone begins to bubble and melt. Within moments, it begins to rapidly dissolve into a puddle of black goo. Okay. Anyone else see that? Alarum. I've never seen such behavior before. I highly doubt those come standard on a colony ship. You search the area where the drone was destroyed, but there's nothing to find. The black goo has dissolved completely, leaving no trace of the drone. The black maw yawns. Behold, the stench of decay beckons. Someone else take the lead. Uh, I'll cover you from the back. Yeah, Jess is gonna go hide. I don't blame him. That was kind of terrifying. I don't know what this black goo is, but it might have something to do with the disappearance of uh, the crew. I'm sure it does, actually. Let's take a look here. Wow, this is crazy. So I hope that thing doesn't open up because it will launch us straight into space. What does this do? Elevator controls. Oh, nice. Ascension. Ooh. Combat. Oh, that's a big monster. Wow, look at the health. Oh, no. Stun resist. Wow. Incoming damage is reduced by 17. Elite enemies have increased resistance to charm, stun, and taunt effects. Resistant to stun. All right, so that's not good. Um, Let's go ahead and we'll do this, I guess. And we'll try some uh, hiding, I think would be good. And just some big damage. Gonna have to do a lot of big damage though. Oh, there we go. Uh oh! So he's spitting these damn things out. Wow, this could be a nifty fight here. This really could be crazy. So let's see. Trick shot. And we'll try and generate some... Some criticals with Jess here. How did everybody get so stunned? Oh man, they're kicking my ash. That's really, really bad. Well, we might not make it through this one. I am kind of surprised at the difficulty here. Okay, let's try this. And she really needs to stop getting hit. What is this? One tribute. That's not gonna help. Let's haunt. I'm hoping that my asthma does some damage here. A combo. And we'll try this. Alright. And we've got showdown, but two of four charges. Let's try and get more. Oh, we did five? That's not good. And this, we've got two tributes. Chance of success, two. Well, that's not gonna happen then. So we'll keep trying with this. I don't know what's happening to Tessabeth, but she's like perma-stunned. Why? Resistance to a stunning blow, stun for 150 time units. Why is that happening? We'll try this. Wow, this is obviously not gonna go well for us. 
How did this happen? Oh, she exploded. Nice. Alright. We've got three of four. We'll take it. Oh, that didn't do much. No, he's still got a ton of health. Oh, man. That's so bad. Uh, let's see. What is this? 260 time units. That's crazy. We'll try this thing. Yeah, we just keep whacking at it. Gotta die eventually, right? Missed. We'll do a Kimbo. And she is she is definitely not in a good place here. Can I use this? Let's see, right click a target to use Zerk on. Oh, I healed her. I have not tried that yet, so that's kind of cool that that, uh, that worked. I think we'll be able to take it down. I think so. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Tessabeth's about to die. But we haven't had a good turn with her. Let's try with Jess. We can do... Uh, inventory. We'll try and use this. Keep everybody alive a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try this. So, so she really is. She seems to be permanently stunned. That's really weird. Is there a way to stop that from happening? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to play without her. Yeah, she's stunned. Forever. How was that happening? Let's see. We'll do horror. And a Kimbo. There we go. Eh, not very much. I guess he's not going to spit anything else out. It's kind of nice. Stunned forever. That's so weird. I wonder if the game glitched or what. Here, let's get some bomblets going on here. Here we go. Trying to generate some void energy. She's still alive. That's good. Chance of success, too. Eh, I'm not really generating uh, tributes, so that's not good. Alright, let's keep trying here. Hmm, I guess we'll try this again. And we just keep going. Hey, Jess is fine, actually. That's pretty funny. Let's see. Is this thing even doing anything anymore? Is it just giving up? Oh, Reinhardt's about to die. This is all Fubar! Fall back! Yeah, he died. I don't know if this thing's gonna die or not. That's too much health! Let's try this, who cares? It did... Not work, it killed me. I killed myself. Alright, let's keep going with him then. There we go. We're gonna hide. I don't think she's supposed to be permanently stunned. I think there's something wrong here. Uh, let's see... Oh, we can do showdown. And that should be... Quite a bit of damage. Good little bit. Oh, he dodged. He's not getting hit. Well, it might be up to Jess now. My strength falters. Alright, so everybody's down except for... Jess. Oh, who's taking big damage now? Yep, 
Yep. Alright, so it's gonna be a close one. Alright, we took it down! So, worst victory ever. The hulking waste disposal unit spasms fitfully. Turning to leave, you realize the chamber behind you has filled with scores of bizarre looking drones, all silently watching your battle with the waste disposal unit. They all begin to babble and march towards you. Discretion supersedes valor. Uh, run for it! Alright, we're running. So this is a loot cache though, huh? Yeah, we'll take all that. And we'll look at it, uh... Where am I running to exactly? Oh good, here. Yeah, let's get out of here. You mash the door button as drones continue to fill the chamber. Luna, come in. Yo, you guys find the... Uh, pardon the interruption, but many drones are trying to kill me. Uh, meet you at the airlock and be prepared to make a swift getaway. Five by five, Luna inbound. I'll get your ass out of there. Good. So we won by just... Just barely. It's gonna take a whole bunch of credits to revive everybody. All right, everybody's back to 100%. Aurora Starliners is pleased you retrieved the memory cores and has begun work on deciphering the orders. They have assigned you an official liaison to work with. Yeah, which is, uh... Uh, El Elysia? What's her name? I forgot. Damn. So let's take a look at what we got here. Because we got some good stuff. It cost us a lot to get this good stuff. This is a rifle. And Tessabeth was stunned for the literally the entire fight. That was horrible. That was crazy. So let's see. This has an 87% chance to hit. This is an 82. And this is more for a damn engineer. So let's see. This is spotter scope. Actually, this is kind of awesome. We'll use that. A rare pistol. So we'll try and use that for Jess. Plus 1% accuracy. Minus 25 time units. Plus 20% increased threat. Increased threat. That's not good. Well, it kind of is actually for him. We'll use it. We'll take it. And let's see. She's using a pistol right now, right? She could be using this instead. It does a ton more damage. Horrible accuracy. Minus 14% accuracy. Okay, that's kind of crap. So let's get out of here. Did we get some experience for that? I think only Jess did, because he was the only one to survive it. That was crazy. So, we need medical attention. Is everybody... Oh, nobody has negative status effects. Okay, cool. So let's keep going then. Ah! The typical... Racious Saloon is strangely quiet and patrons are huddled around the hollow vid screen. Doc Sam notices you enter and motions you towards the display as he turns the volume up. Looks like the CEO of Aurora Starliners, Xavier Dinaview, is holding a press conference. Go watch the hollow vid. Elbowing your way closer to a hollow vid display, you spot Tal Ray Hobbs perched on a stool and Lucas Filch slouched in the corner. On the screen, the CEO of Aurora is stationed at a podium and flanked by bigwigs from several corps. And this is why in concert with our allies at Astro Hunt Technologies, the Blue Yataki Foxkin Armory, Jayin Biotech, and Cage Enterprises, we are proud to announce the formation of a new interim government. Hereafter, the Accord. To move towards a democratically elected government that elevates the needs of humanity over those of a select few corporations. Deneview goes on to describe plans for arranging local elections. Put on the UFP feed. I want to hear him whine. Shut up! Ah, uh, you shouldn't. <coughs> In here, brat. A bottle goes sailing across the saloon from Talray to Lucas's table. Go sit with Talray. You join Talray at her table as she sips from her unlabeled bottle. Hey, pretty wild, huh? 
UFP psychophants are nervous as hell. She gestures towards Lucas Filch, who stumbles drunkenly towards the exit when he notices you looking in his direction. Pretty wild. Say, you've been working with these corpse on the Stella Marin thing, right? You got any contacts involved with this accord news? Actually, yeah, I'm working with someone at Aurora. Oh, Accord, huh? Maybe... Maybe you could help me with something. I gotta run and look some stuff up. Make a few calls. Okay, gotta run. Bye. Telray hops off her stool and hurries out of the saloon excitedly. Wait, come back. It's almost tea time. What was that about? Join Doc at the bar. Doc arches his eyebrows as you walk over. Interesting times. I hate interesting times. Bad for business. Is it? You think everybody would want to get drunk right now because of the crazy news. Mm. Let's get to business. Got a job lined up for me? Some lady from Aurora left a message for you to call her as soon as possible. Probably pertaining to this accord business. Word of caution. Mind you don't bring their mess back to the station, year. I'll set up the wire for you. Before you do, what's the deal with Talray Hobbs? Doc regards you coolly. Eh, not usually one to inform on the locals. But I'm concerned for that kid. Her parents got picked up by the UFP and are doing hard time in the re-education facility. She's whip crack smart. So she's fine taking care of herself. Worried she might be thinking of something stupid with all the accord business, though. Thanks, I'll take that wire call now. Doc turns and punches in some numbers on an interface behind the bar. He pauses, casually looking over the bar patrons and locals before turning back to the interface. I'm gonna route this to the wire terminal outside, give you a bit more privacy. Just head out there when you're ready to call your contact. Thanks, I'll pick up outside. Alright, so I guess we exit. Let's open our stash. What do we got here? Oh, we need to sell some of this crap. So, this terminal? Yes. After making sure no one is loitering nearby, you punch in the wire address Doc set up for you in your contact list. The call connects almost instantly. Eliana, that's her name. I don't know why I would forget that. I like that name. Hello, I must apologize in advance, uh, but I don't have long to talk at the moment. As you can imagine, things are quite hectic around here. I trust you've seen the formal announcement of the Accord? Yes, and I'm looking forward to working with the Accord. Excellent! Let us discuss the Stalamarin first, though. What did you find at the coordinates? I was hoping you'd call on site, but you never did. We had to make a hasty retreat. The area was swarmed with hostiles. Oh! But that was to ex be expected, no? The ship drones have all gone rogue. These weren't where... These weren't mere waiter bots and cleaners. They were military-grade killing machines. Of a type I've never encountered before. This is very alarming. Uh, the Stella Marin certainly did not have any combat drones aboard. They must have been transported aboard by a third party. I would assume Horizon? Even stranger is that they appear to melt when destroyed. Some sort of nanite self-destruct. What? How bizarre. Well, what did you find at the target coordinates? Were you able to locate any evidence of the drone origins? I met a lovely trash compactor unit, but he was clearly in no mood to chat. He tried to eat me. It was quite alarming. Can't we all agree? No sign of ship material either. No clue where it went after the trash compactor. There should be at least evidence of the material collected by the ship drones. Perhaps these combat drones are transporting it elsewhere? I will relay your information to my superiors and speak to our technicians about the melting aspect. We must capture one of these combat drones to proceed. 
How do you propose we do that if they just melt? All right. In the meantime, we have local matters to deal with. The UFP has allowed piracy to run rampant on the rim. Using the threat of pirate raids to keep the independent corporations and planets subservient to their rule, we are going to demonstrate that the Accord will not tolerate this. What's the plan? This is where you may be of unique assistance to the Accord and me personally. With the exception of our friends at Blue Yataki and Foxkin, the Accord does not count many military-minded people amongst its ranks. We are business folk primarily. As such, I would appreciate hearing your opinion on how best to deal with pirates. Well, so let's take a look here. Let's find the best option. There may be eventual allies against the UFP. That's not really my department. The only thing pirates understand is violence. You don't pay me enough to do this. Um. Ooh, diplomacy. A diplomatic approach may be best. They may be eventual allies against the UFP. Diplomacy with pirates. Um, that's not what I had imagined uh, you would suggest. I'll take that under consideration for our future endeavors, but I believe a more direct approach is required for this particular villain. She's probably right, but it's always best to try diplomacy. Allies are better than defeated enemies, you know? Even if we can kill them, it's better to have them on our side. I have something specific in mind for him. Who's the pirate? A particularly vile captain by the name of Rasa the Hook. I have obtained the location of his hideout and would like you to capture him alive. Once you have him in custody, I have arranged for his transport to a secure location to await public trial. Understood. Send the coordinates and I'll grab you a pirate. Excellent. Capturing this villain will send a strong message to the Rim Planets. I'll arrange for the job details to be sent to your wire agent. When this business is sorted, we'll continue our investigation on the Stella Marin. Sounds good. Oh, I've also taken the liberty of informing the Accord Member Corporation of your loyal service. You should find your reputation with them much improved as a result. Take care. Talk soon. Alright, so we are now in good standing with the Accord. Um, let's see here. Workers United does not like us. Uh, Galaxy Mart. Pretty pissed. Let's see. Aurora. Jayen. We're doing okay with Jayen. That's who I was trying to, to get boosted with. I don't see the Accord, though. Maybe that's, like, everybody. Oh. Oh! Astro Hunt. Damn. So that's everybody in here. So Dablu Yataki is somebody I actually should be uh, trying to help and not, not uh, disregarding them so much. My bad! Oops. Whatever. So let's see here. We gotta sell some stuff, right? What have you got for sale? So... We've traded a lot of this crap out, really. 10 to 11 damage per shot. Now, the problem is the accuracy is only at 71%. That kind of sucks. But it does do a lot of damage if I can hit. We'll keep it for now. But I want to say we can get rid of these. And this crap. And let's see, we definitely want to keep that. Actually, we'll even buy another one. It's only 30. And what does this do? Dodge. Crit. Accuracy. We always need accuracy. Accuracy is notoriously bad for all of my characters for some reason. Um, let's exit this shop. And we're gonna get set up. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, well look at that. I didn't notice that before. That's really cool. So we're going to stop the episode a little early here so that uh, on the next one we can proceed with. Let's take a look here. We check the job board to catch a privateer. It is hard right now. So in between now and the next episode, I'll do some basic missions just to get up to level 12 so that we can do this. And I will continue with the story with you guys. So thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next.